I believe this. I believe God is going to use real people with real problems who are searching for real solutions because they can get them from a real God. Spend a lot of time in church doing church stuff but never being changed. And I wind up, you know, when I finally really met the real Savior, that's what I'm saying. Had nothing to do with me going to church. Had to do with me connecting with the real Savior. When it finally happened for me, I'm just like, man, if I could get people to experience this, just like folk who've tried an expensive drug and want to share with everybody, the Savior's love is so real. Once you experience it, you will never, ever want to go back. I'm telling you, man, when you find out how much God loves you, when you find out all the things that he's done for you, you'll give yourself to him. You'll, you'll open yourself up. You'll empty out your stuff and leave room for him. But it only happens when the relationship is real. Listen, listen, listen to me really close to I don't know who you are, man, boy, woman, girl. If you're here today, you don't have a relationship with Jesus. What's that mean, Reverend? You're not saved. You ought to come. The door of the church is open. If you're here today, you ought to come to Jesus. Don't come to the pastor. Don't come to the fellowship. Come to Jesus. Give him your heart, and he can change you in Jesus' name. Secondly, if you don't have a church home, guess what? This is a great church. Uh, not perfect church, but we could be the perfect church for you. If you're a Christian, you ought to be in somebody's church. Let me say that. Let me change that. If you're a Christian, you ought to be in a church that's meeting your needs and a church where you can use your gifts. That's better. I'll say it like that. Thirdly, if you're in church but you've been outside of the fellowship, can we be real? A lot of us joined churches 20 years ago and we haven't been there but five times in four years. It's time to get reconnected with God and get reestablished. Are you here? There might be one. If there's one, you ought to come. Two.
guys, but uh, I do this every time I do it because I don't know what's going on in your heart. I don't know who you are. Listen, listen, listen. There's somebody in here who needs to be saved. There's somebody here who needs to church on. I don't want you to leave this building without knowing Jesus for yourself. If you're here today, I'm going to pray that God will set you free in Jesus' name. She just sung a song saying, God gave you hands, God gave you ears. I'm going to ask you to reach out to your neighbor in one moment and just touch them and tell them, listen, if you want me to, I'll walk with you. If you want me to, I'll walk with you. All right? Follow the name of Jesus right now. I pray, God, for the sinners, for the saved, up in this building who don't uh, have a church home. I pray now for those who don't have a relationship with you. I pray for those who are out of church. I pray, God, that you send them back in Jesus' name. Make us the church they need us to be. Make me the pastor they need me to be. Father, in the name of Jesus, don't let them leave this place without having a relationship with you. In Jesus' name, I need to come to saints. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, I ask it all. And the people said amen. But you can just 